Good morning, everybody. It's oh, hi. Monday. Good morning. It's oh. hot as hell. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm already sweating. I put the fan on that Greg usually wants, and I don't. <laughs> so the fan is on. But it's cooler uh, than yesterday. Unfortunately, my partner, Greg, is oh. out of town. So Hopefully he's going he's to. A fun time. Oh, yes. he is. He's yes. actually What's doing, he doing something. Uh, it's his business. I don't. I don't. <laughs> like cookie. I don't question okay. Greg, he's and he doesn't cookie. question me. That's a good policy. And that's how we keep in business. <laughs> very, very good. There you go. So um, he's not here. I hope he's watching. And he's in Georgia. I can tell you that. Excellent. Hey, Georgia Jesus. must Yay. be hotter there, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. I would think it's hotter in Georgia. But anyway, I miss him today, but he will be very sad that he missed all these gorgeous ladies today. Because he you. loves to uh, be around women. Right so. <laughs> um, welcome. We have such thank a great you. list of women here. We get Tammy Severino from ah, the Girl Scouts of thank Suffolk. Thank you. Marie Freeman from Long Island Bride and Groom from Minimize. Organize and Minimize. And organize. And yep. then we have the actor of the oh. month, oh, Donna please. Morales. <laughs> Hi. He's <laughs> been in so many things that I'm so Aww. jealous. No. No. Uh, and you. you have done so many things since I met you. Yeah. In one and a half years. Yes. I, yeah. I, you know, sometimes I have to pinch myself. I really do because I can't <laughs> believe what I've done. In, in I, I mean, I think I know you two years. Two yes. years. Uh, yeah. I'm just, and I'm very you're my hero because, oh, you know, you. you give me ideas that, you know, anybody could really do it if you put your time and you have talent like you do. Thank you. Well, let me let me put it to you this way. Anybody can do what I'm doing. It's just a matter of being committed to it. And I'm committed okay. to it. You're committed to when the commitment. I, when I retired in 2016 from the Department of Education, as I spent 25 and a half years as a teacher. Ah. And the moment I signed those papers, I made a promise to myself that everything I did, it was wonderful, but it's in my rear view. Now I'm going forward and going forward in my retirement. Because, you know, a lot of people in their retirement are like, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life right. now. Oh, I knew what oh, I was going yeah. to do. Go. I was going to get myself an agent, get myself a manager, do as many shorts, any feature films, get my reel done. Get I, I was focused on getting my materials done so that I can promote myself as an actress. Fantastic. And I did. And that's how I met Jerry Ferretti. Right. And, and so on and so on. Yes. And then I, you were starting to tell me about there's a thing. You don't know what it is. The IMDb. IMDb. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> okay. IMDb is the International Movie Database. Okay. And you can find any movie, any TV show, any actor, your favorite actor, if you want to know what they're yeah. doing. Actors, directors, producers, set designers, anyone in the industry, anything going on in the industry, um, agents, casting directors. It shows Everybody all the like credits. It, yes, exactly. So every time you do a project or are involved in a project, someone is involved in putting you on IMD. I do it for Jerry. So and now, I how do you, like, you became a club member of that IMD, right? Um, well, it's not club. It's, it's a subscription. You actually so you pay, pay. how much you, you have pay? To, um, I don't know. They change it every year. It's like $150 for the year. So that's for IMDb. Okay, that's IMDb Pro. That's IMDb Pro. All right. Okay. In order for actors and actresses to get work, to submit to work, you need to be on these platforms. There's I'm there's actors access, which you have to have. If you have an, an agent or a manager, they will not take you unless they'll the first thing they're going to say is Join. what's yeah. your actors access um, number? You know, your, your link. They okay. want to link to your actors access. They want to link to your casting frontier. They want to link to your uh, casting networks. You need to be able to be on those those platforms so that they can submit you from their end. And what that means Makes is it easier for them. when you are represented, there's not everybody's represented. When you're not represented, it, it behooves you not to be on these because okay. that's where you're getting your work. It's not if you don't go and get it, it's not going to come to you. It's almost like you, you want a job. You got to go on the classifieds, right? The jobs right. aren't going to come to you. You have to look for them. So you go on all of these platforms. Um, what's the one that? Oh gosh. Yeah, I mean it's very interesting because you network you, with people. Right. It's the same thing as what everyone else does in their business, but it's yes. in her business. Correct. Yes. But it's also what an option for other people if they are thinking about it. When exactly. They go to a class. Which exactly. is how you met my nephew, who's yes. in the same class as you, yes. who's right down the block in yes. Levittown. I mean, you never know what's all around you. Yes. Well, that's that's what happens. You know, there are people who are just starting out, and they want to know, oh, I, I, I want to get into acting. I don't know how. Well, you've got to – it's a business, and that's the first thing that anyone – 
who is going into the industry, whether it be theater and or movie, film, TV, commercial, doesn't matter, even if you're doing a, a business a podcast. Is you. The business is you. Yeah. <laughs> I am now self-employed. I am an independent contractor. I am the leader of but my own domain. Great? Yes. I love doing well, that. Well, I, because, <laughs> but again, I can. <laughs> That's uh, for sure. I, uh, you know, I, it, it has, it, it's ups and it has its downs. I, I, again, it's a nine to five job for me sometimes. There are days when I'm like, okay, you know, it's seven o'clock in the morning. My phone starts blowing up with, with submissions from these platforms and I, I have to submit. Uh, and then I'm looking for auditions that my agent or my manager sends me. And then I have to update everything. I have to update my resume. I have to make sure that I'm constantly keeping the relationships right. with certain people. So you work people. very hard. Yeah, I and do. You, you it's have to spend your own money for your yes, business. It, tonight I'm, I'm, I'm taking um, a workshop with the casting director, Bola Misha, in the workshop with them. It's the only way I'm going to get to meet the casting directors and the way they're going to meet me and see what I can do. It's not like they're going to be like, oh, yeah, look at this. She's got a pretty face. Sometimes it happens that way, but... Tiny you can have a you can have a you can have a great headshot, but it doesn't mean that you've got anything to back it up. So you've got to give you got to show the goods. And the first step towards that is your headshot, right? Okay. And then your portfolio, right? Uh, then your well, not really a portfolio. We resume, right? You know your resume, mm -hmm. and you know you build your resume on that. I started, I started my acting career, believe it or not, on doing Long Island theater while I was a teacher with the New York City Which Department of Education. Which is fabulous because you were doing. You know, yes. you were preparing for your retirement when you were working, exactly. which is key exactly. when you're going to get up there like some exactly. of them. Exactly. I mean, I started. How much fun is that? It, it's a lot of fun. It, do that. It's, yeah. it's a ball. It really is. Yeah. It's and look at how <laughs> successful you are. I mean, really, she's really a hero because I, no, you, know I just, you worked you your know, ass off all your life. Tell the truth. She I did. in New York City. You know how hard that is to I go did. to work every day well, and here's train? The I, here's the thing. Well, well I, I drove. Um, but that, was that in itself. <laughs> That's even that worse. Itself. But you know something? Um, I took a lot of, a lot of what I did for the Department of Ed, being on the teacher end of it and the administrative end of it, I bring to my acting career now. Um, I have a very strong administrative background. I have a very strong teaching background. I, the last three years of my tenure with the DOE was actually teaching early childhood educators how to be early childhood educators. So, you know, and, and I was dealing with the politics of it all because I was working under the, uh, the mayor's office. And which is tough. Yeah, early, yeah, it was the pre-K for all program, which was under Mayor de Blasio. And so I was an instructional coordinator working under the mayor's office for the Queen's, um, uh, Queen's Office of Early Childhood. Yeah, so big. it, it yeah, gave it me... Uh, a, a lot of um, first-hand knowledge about the way things work politically. Which is sometimes e not easy to take. Now it's not, but it's helped me now because in this industry, you need to know how to navigate. You need to know how to network. You need to know how to make friends and not burn bridges. Absolutely. Yeah, Burning bridges true. is the bridges. worst thing. for It stays with you your entire life if you do it. Um, it's all about, and that's what I'm saying, I am surrounded by such a supportive group of people people who are fun and, and creative <laughs> and I love I being with them. Last week alone, um, I'm, my, my management group is the Talent Express and COVID has, I, I, you know, I don't have to tell you what COVID did. COVID put everybody on Zoom. Okay, so the only way I interacted with these beautiful people was through Zoom or Instagram or Facebook and we support each other and Whoever books it, we're on there, and we're supporting them. Yay, good for you, because it's, it's just... It's, it's what you need. It's yeah, yeah, yes. You, 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 you know, you can't be like, oh, gee, look at this person. No, there, you cannot be that way. There's no backbiting. It's just wonderful. But last week, um, a few of us finally got together in the flesh, and oh, it was nice. as if we knew each other. Forever. Yeah, they were like, yeah, it was as if we knew each other forever. And we were able to share. Thing. We were able to share what That's we couldn't nice. share on Zoom. We were able to, now we were, we were You could eating. hug. We were in, <laughs> yes, we were able to hug, and but we were able, it was a group of five of us, and we were able to sit in this lovely backyard on this beautiful day in Manhattan on the Upper East Side and share some wine and, and delicious cookies oh, that one of my, nice. that, that my friend Doug made, and just um, share great. our yeah. experiences and what's going on in our yeah. lives, because we, it's just, you know, it's just this, yeah. you know, and this doesn't, you know, you only put little snippets of your life on there and you choose what to put and what not to put. But it was nice that we were able to, to commiserate and, and 
show support for each other. And, and I went home feeling so much better that day, knowing that, wow, I thought it was just me. But it happened to her, too. Exactly. Okay, so it's not just me. So that yeah. gives you a feeling of camaraderie, which yes. really, that's what the breakfast club's all about. That's yes. how we started. Yes. People that were in the theater because they got fired. Well, well, but now look at us. Well, exactly. <laughs> and, and what it... What it did for I me was... I just call the state of state, guys. No, no. It, it, that's <laughs> why I love it. You got it. I tell the truth, okay? And I, now I, you're going to hear the yes. You wouldn't be any other No. Time. No, no, no that's, that's it. I mean, that's how I am. So, <laughs> so let's talk about the one big award you guys got with the last, at the show. I mean, you guys were on the stage a lot with the movie that you were in. Uh, um, with I'm Jerry. Trying to, I'm trying yeah. to think of which one. Essence. Essence, right. Okay. Essence is a movie that was written, produced, and directed by Jerry Ferretti. Who is uh, the man, I love him to death, of uh, Ferretti Films, um, which is now Ferretti slash Lordy Mama Productions. I did not know that. Yes, when did that happen? Recently. <laughs> oh, you need a press release. <laughs> recently. Okay. Um, what R Valentine is referring to is our Nyleth, um production, New York, Long Island Film oh, Festival. Amazing. Which this is going to be our third year, and we have surpassed our inaugural year. And that's when I started with them. I, you know, I just went in and went, what can I do? And now here I am on the production team. I just, you know, I was ripping tickets and just, you know, learning the ropes. And Jerry yes. said, oh, come on. <laughs> and let me tell you, um, it's a great event. I go, every, yeah. we have a table every year because I promote my book too. Mm -hmm. And my book's on the screen, which is yes. like the yes. most yes. exciting yes. thing I've done in my life. So this last year, yeah. we were the only live film festival across the state. Wow. Ooh. Governor Cuomo doesn't know this, but we're, you're making it <laughs> out. We were the he only live, yes, <laughs> and we took place at the Moose Lodge. Which oh. I went to, which was hysterical. At first I walked yes. in, I thought I was with these moose hats. The yeah. Moose Lodge <laughs> in Lindenhurst, <laughs> New York, and we'll, we'll be there again this year, but we're, we're expanding. Um, so we were at the Moose Lodge for two days and nights, and we had, you know, under COVID restrictions, because they we did. had to, the Moose Lodge was sticking to that, okay, you need to do this, this, and this, and, and we did. We, we adhered by all COVID regulations. We had filmmakers coming from all over and the United States. They we had great. Oh, that's we had our filmmakers from California come. We had others come from other, s other states in the Midwest. So what did it they was do there? We screened their films. These were, okay. we, we screened their films. These were the winners of the festival and who, who submitted. Uh, we screened all of their films, including mine, which was Essence, and Jerry Ferretti was, again, the writer, director, producer. And, um, and what was that about? Uh, Essence is about a young woman who, <coughs> unfortunately, is a in a coma. And her, uh, she was in a, an accident, and she's in a coma. And her brother um, was vacillating as to whether or not we should pull the plug. And then he's, he's fighting with his mother, me, um, because at one point he believes that there's something going on inside of our brains, even though yeah. we're in a coma and we're in that state, our essence is still alive Very within deep. that, oh. d that state somewhere. And, um, so that, that's, and your part story was, was fabulous. Amazing. Thank you. And <laughs> we got to see it. Thank first, um, oh, because nice. they won an award, you know. No. And we are going to get to see another film of ours, uh, Where's the Will, which is a comedy. <laughs> Where's the Will? <laughs> Where's the Will? This one is written, directed, and produced, well, co and co-directed by Jerry Ferretti. Can't wait. Where's the Will is, again, going to be screened at Nyleth, taking place this October. Right. We are starting on a Thursday, October 21st, and going hopefully through Sunday. I know, I'm spending the whole nice. weekend. And at the what, Moose we're, Lodge. what we're yeah. going to do, well, you're not going <laughs> to spend four days at the Moose Lodge. Let me tell you. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> Susan, we're going. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. There you go. Let's there fix her go. Up. Oh, nobody can hear me. Oh, and I want them to hear this little tidbit. <laughs> Oh, oh okay. isn't that nice? Oh, well, we don't <laughs> we're, want that. We're listening to your earrings. Oh, well, we can go, you know. Okay, okay. I'll just go hold ahead. it. Nyla this year is um, collaborating with downtown Lindenhurst District. Oh. Um, many business owners, you know, for the, because now everything is opening up. Yeah. And Lindenhurst is booming. They have new apartment complexes going up. 
they have new businesses that have just opened up. So we're collaborating with the businesses to bring That's the great. festival to the downtown area of Lindenhurst, not just the Moose Lodge, so that we can, again, screen films in, uh, in one of the, uh, the establishments there. I'm not going to say which one yet because we have not yeah. decided. So. But we are thinking about doing that. We're also co collaborating with some of the, the other theaters that are on that row in Lindenhurst on Wellwood Avenue. It's like theater. Wellwood Avenue is like, theater, right. Wellwood Avenue is like the theater row of, of Long Island because you've got several storefront theaters there. You've got the Maine's Studio Theater, which is in construction right now. You've got South Shore Theater Company. You've got Baca. Um, so lot. there, yeah, there are a spot. lot. There are a lot. So you know, we're we're, we're trying to yeah. to bring. We want Lindenhurst to be the happening. Right, yeah, and you know, just really like is. just like you, Ham you know, just like the Hamptons right. has their big film festival, and you can walk, stroll through the town, and go to the festival and and see screenings at various you know uh, venues. We're trying to do that, and uh, not only With that, if you go to this yeah. Lindenhurst Lodge, they have uh, machines where you could win. Like, um, you like know, bet machine? slot machines. Do they really? really? Yes. I, where was that? Susan won $100 when we was there. Uh, where uh, where was our? Uh, well, I was a little busy. <laughs> I was a little busy with, <laughs> yes. with the screenings and, and Q&As. And, and we met and, the fence. And, and, and welcoming filmmakers. Yeah. I, d I didn't even go in the bar. And we met the mayor <laughs> the mayor of Lindenhurst there. He's got a yes. fence company. Yes. He I asked me out on a date. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's funny. <laughs> That's really and funny. Susan was playing the mother hen, and she was playing with those slots, oh my and she won a hundred bucks. So we hung out at the bar. There you go. Oh, how funny! <laughs> and it's, and it's a good money funny. back to the bar. Yes, we did. But you know what? It was a great experience. Anybody out there that wants to be part of my troupe, which is book authors, I'm going to have about four slots for four book authors. Already talked to Jerry about it. Okay. So you good. contact me, okay. and anybody else that wants to talk to Jerry, just let me know. I'll pr pass it over. To be and have your screening, your, your screening, uh, to put your name that into the to the awards, that right? That would be lovely. And the last thing I want to tell you is, yes. if you want to come on June nineteenth, I have an extra ticket to two. the first screening of Familiar Two, because we're involved with that group that made the movie. Ah, uh, oh, they were on the show. Yes. Really? So we're going. We're going to the movie and the oh, red carpet. Oh, nice! But if you want to come on one of my tickets, you can. Oh well, thank you very much. Let me know. Do it's June nineteenth in the Merrick Theater. Okay, and that's close by. Yeah, and anybody very could go, by. but I only have a very few nice. tickets, you know. Very, very but nice. But because you're in it, I mean, you're in this industry, you know. Exactly. I'm sure Jerry's probably going. I don't know. I'll well, if he's him. not, tell him, <laughs> tell him that I'll. Well, I think he might be listening right now, so he'll probably. So, Jerry, if you want to go, call text me. text me. All right, Jerry? <laughs> I have What's a few, but I, I don't have a lot. I yes. mean, like, two yes. is it. Yeah, but so there's, there's a lot going on on the South Shore as far as uh, film and not just on the South Shore, all across the, well, yeah, but the South Shore of Long Island, there's a lot going on in the film industry, as it's well as theater. Um, the, the, new, the new Bayway Theater, which it's is part of one. Studio mm -hmm. Mains Theater. Bayway Arts has opened up, and it's, it's, na it's owned by uh, four um, wonderful creative um, men. Christopher Zully is the executive director, and um, he's got something really great going on. It's a, I um, went there a couple of weeks ago and saw the performance of Children of Eden and it just mm. floored me. It had me in tears. Mm. Um, it's nice to see that that theater is like a, it's kind of like a phoenix coming out of the ashes. Right. It's and you know what? Out there, the community place. is so important. Yes. You know, yeah, we want to go to Manhattan, but you know, you yeah. have the talent right here. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Support that's, your that's community. The point. That's what we that's do. And that's what this show yeah. does. Tell everyone about what we do here. Because that's the point. We get the word <laughs> out. I mean, yeah. you know, we do. And, we I love having people something. like you. Yeah. I thought I read something that some in Fort Washington or something, they were doing yeah, there's a, a new, new, yes. new uh, studio that was going to, they're taking over something and they're going to really? be building a new studio. Oh, that's there. good to know. So that's yeah, yeah. I thought I read something about that. Happening. I don't know there's exactly. Some, there's some remarkable theaters they really on the island. Yes. Um, so that, yes. You, you know, you can go to Broadway, but you have the ability to see that level talent right. and those level productions right. locally as One well. One of my favorites is Oakdale, the little theater in Oakdale. Oh, CM. CM. And CM. Yes. And let me tell you, I knew Noel. Okay. Okay. He, the the owner that Noel created Ruiz. that. Yes, you know how I met him at church. Yes. Mm. At Good Friday, because he faith. did the <laughs> crucifixion. Yep. So yes. then Every the year. Breakfast Club got involved with him, and we did a few fundraisers there, which is very easy to do a fundraiser. Absolutely. There. You just 
pay a certain amount and charge a certain amount. They do all the work. You just show up. Wow. Yeah. So there's a lot of theaters like that on Long Island. You yes. know? Yeah. So w in in closing, we'll talk again later. Cool. But what do you want to what do you want to say? Because well, what I'd like to you're say amazing. is get ready <laughs> for. Thank you, oh, thank you so much. And I, I really I, I, I'm humbled by this. Thank you for asking me on oh, your show again. Listen, um, in closing, come to the film festival, New York oh, Long Island definitely. Film Festival. Breakfast Club is October there. October 21st to <laughs> October 24th, and it's it's cute because my yeah, my I, my daughter has a little a small part in Where's the Will and she. Oh, how nice. Yes, I got to act with my daughter. Oh, it was her first oh, time. Nice. She's never on film before. Great. And she's, I, she's, she's great. She knocked it out of the park. It was yeah. like, oh my goodness, because she, she's not an actress. Like mother, so like just, daughter. Oh, thank you. Listen, <laughs> but she has no interest at all in in a film career. See, but at least your she daughter said the one and done. Your daughter <laughs> says you're a movie star, right? Yeah. They no, no, they don't. Well, I have to tell you, no, and I and I don't. I don't refer to myself as a I'm kidding star. you. You know that. My oh, daughter no. teases me. But my kids, I have to say, are my biggest champions. They Aww. know that this means Thanks, so kids. much to me. And they've seen Aww. me from when I had my dance studio when they were little all the way up. So they've seen, you know, my highs and my lows. And they support me. And I love them so much. Yeah, so and that's yeah. why you're beaming. Because so nice. yeah. when yeah. you have support yeah. of people that you love, yes, that's yes. all you need. So, yeah. you know. Come to our third year, Nylif, October 21st, October 24th. And if someone wants to You're hire you, where do they go? They like, go there might be an actor out there that says, I want Donna. <laughs> DonnaMoralesActress.com. There you go. There we go. And she's a pleasure, and I'm so glad you showed <laughs> up. And we went to lunch to this great Chinese restaurant, what, about yeah, we have six to months ago, right? Yeah, we have to do that again. That was great. That was but yeah, next time wonderful. we'll do not Chinese. Okay. So I, I had to eat Chinese. I don't eat Chinese. Uh, but uh, uh, I liked it, though. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Right. I late. eat it once a month, <laughs> once every two you months. You take all this time to tell me. You had to call the other show to tell me you don't like Chinese. In front, of everybody. in front of everybody. All right. <laughs> Next time you choose. No, well, I'm easy. I never I knew it. she never liked Chinese. Now yes, yeah, know. she knows. Yeah. So now we have this beautiful Tammy Severino. <gasps> Thank you. She yeah. is a friend of mine for three years. Yeah. We yeah. both became angels around the same time oh, from nice. the Long Island Angels, yeah. which is a fabulous organization. It's about women that give back. She writes. She's writing a book. She's now the interim president of the Girl Scouts of Suffolk County. How the hell did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> well, Girl Scouts of Suffolk County, I've been on the board for several years. And I've, I've actually, I've had Girl Scouts in my life since I'm a kid. Right. I grew up in Brooklyn, and I started um, my Girl Scout career as a brownie. Uh, right. With I daisies. was a brownie. And there a weren't daisies set. back then, so I started and worked my way up from there. Um, I have two daughters of my three children, two of them are girls. I was the troop leader for one of them, and I was and still am the cookie mom for the other one. Well, her daughter <laughs> is a movie star, too. Her daughter is, has a bakery, and she's uh, only what? How old is your daughter? She just turned 14. 14, and she has a bakery. She was, know, uh, at, our, um, yes. she was at our book uh, author reception at uh, Raymore Flanagan. Yes, oh, yes. Wonderful. And uh, I've been on the board at Girl Scouts of Suffolk since 2014. Our CEO had retired. Um, and we had um, someone who came in sh for a short window. Um, and as Girl Scouts figures out what, uh, what its next steps were, they asked if I could step in as the interim president and CEO. And I've loved every minute of so it. So were you just totally thrilled? Or did you expect it? or I, it did, not came as a I did not expect it. Um, I have my own uh, business. And uh, so tight walking both of them has been a bit of a... Uh, yeah, it's hard. It's, it's a lot. Yeah. But it's... Cool, but juggling. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, like like most women, I keep a lot of balls in the air. Oh yeah. Um, but I I've loved every minute of it. We have a great team at Girl Scouts. Um, we have the most remarkable volunteers. Yeah. Uh, we could not, as an organization, locally or uh, internationally, do what we do without the remarkable volunteers, the leaders, right? The troop trainers. leaders, service unit coordinators, um, volunteers who are running the cookie program for each service right. unit, which are usually um, broken down by yeah. school district. Um, we have thousands of them in Suffolk County, and they um, they make the machine run the way it does. Um, so we're able to do what we do with a modest-sized staff. Yeah, and now with the COVID, are things coming back? Yes, we have done over, uh, we've done hundreds and hundreds of programs via Zoom for the girls I know, this I year. I know, I was watching that, um, yeah. And we've, you know, it, it, 
it wasn't what Girl Scouts usually is, but we've realized we can reach lots of girls. So even with going back to traditional in-person programs, um, and we're really excited to have access to the buildings, school buildings, church buildings, synagogues That's that great. we've used in the past. You get more Girl Scouts yes, that Yes, right? we'll have our girls coming back. Um, but when we do programs, we might hybridize them. We might find a way to have girls present, but for those who can't get to a particular program, but the topic was really interesting, um, whether it's STEM or right. um, or it's civics or any number of activities. Volunteering. Uh, kind of if right. you're if you're yeah. doing camping, that's an in-person thing. Right. Um, but for our uh, educational programs, we can have it. Uh, streamed at the same time, and girls will be able to join in whichever way best suits really their nice. schedule. Oh, and for the little ones in particular, serves their parents' schedules. Yeah, because right. some days you can't leave early from work to get your daughter somewhere for a particular program. You can hop in whichever way best suits the overall family's need. So we want to go and and prov we want to be able to provide these programs in a way that's good for the girls, that's good for our leaders, right. and that's good for the families. The overall. people that work. The mothers yes. and the fathers yes. that make it. Now, yeah, do fathers get involved with the Girl Scouts? We scout? do, and we have a T-shirt. My husband's got it. It says, "Man enough to be a Girl Scout." Uh, that, so, I like and that. I, I it's love it. On good, yes. very creative. So, we do have men who participate, and we're we're really we're so thrilled because they see the value in all of the leadership skills. Um, Girl Scouts, the t the tagline: We create girls of of courage, confidence, and character. Oh, I like and that. And you need your moms for that, but the dads make a huge impact on that, so we're thrilled to have both. That's great. Yeah. So now, uh, do you work from home or from the office? In, in um, I've been working from home. I've been going into the office a little bit. We're going to be starting... Um, in Comac? Uh, yes, I'm out of the Comac office, and mm -hmm. we'll be starting to uh, bring staff back on a part-time schedule and mm -hmm. part-time from home and watch the numbers to make sure that we are ensuring safety for our team and then and for all the volunteers who need to stop in right. uh, but we just as of June 1st we reopened our stores by appointment only so that our moms are able to come in to get the fun stuff that their girls need and our troop leaders and moms can come in and get what their troops are going to need That's for great. September. But you have like a yeah. little operation in oh yeah, just yes. like we have in Nezzo. Yes. We, I didn't realize that. We have, um, we have three stores. We oh, have our wow. main office in Comac and we have two camp properties. We have Camp E which is our larger property. The one out uh, in that's the in Bayport, right. and then Camp Sebago's in Yapank. Yeah, my granddaughter went to one of the camps. Yep. And she liked it, but she's like a girly girl, so <laughs> it's a little... <laughs> Oh, it. No, yeah. we, we and we have camp coming back this summer. Yeah, we, she we did the one all the way out. Oh, okay. You, you're on a schedule. You got to walk. You got to <laughs> sleep. You got to walk. You, she really, but she liked it. We are doing day camp this summer. Oh. Um, so we we modified it to keep all the girls and all the staff safe. Um, but we're really excited to bring the girls back. Wow. Um, and our parents are really excited to have the option. Sure. Again. We are almost full. Uh, so Terrific. for parents wow. that are interested, hop onto our website and they must be a Girl Scout there to go to the uh, camp, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. And if they're not, they can just add the Girl Scout membership. So it's oh. it's not a problem. Good to know. Um, and I'm then curious, what's the levels? You said brownies. What is it? I, I've well, never been. So we have daisies. Those are okay, our, daisies. our youngest. Yeah. The, those are kindergarten and first grade. Okay. Then you move into the brownie level for okay. two years. Then you go into juniors then cadets. Okay. By the time they're finishing middle school, they're finishing cadets. Okay. And then we have seniors and ambassadors. So what about a woman like, let's say Marie wants to be a Girl Scout now at her <laughs> age? I think, um, <laughs> do they have a senior version? No, I think you could come we in have, as a, as a We have registered adults. I'm making her a Girl Scout. <laughs> we have registered adults. All of our volunteers oh, are registered adults. So, so the volunteers get involved. Oh, and then, I, you know, yes. they get like a label, <laughs> you know. And we have, we have even for folks who were Girl Scouts as kids who want to still be part of the movement, we have a lot of alums who come back as registered adults. They become, I have um, one so of I my pins come back. here. So I can come back. Yes. Oh, yes. There you go. Absolutely. <laughs> so I'm a lifetime. I have a lifetime pin, so I'm a lifetime member now. I could now. be a cadet again. Um, <laughs> 
So it's yeah, it's it's a it's a fantastic. It's not just an organization; it is a movement. It's yeah, it's, it's a, a good culture. movement. It's and and um, we are teaching girls about absolutely everything they can be as they get older. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And they they have the opportunity to earn their bronze awards, their silver awards, and then their gold gold award, which is our highest award available. We have between three and five thousand girls per year in the United States who earn their gold it's awards. Really? And what do they have to do to earn that gold? They have to, it's, like it's a community yes. service. Yeah. It's, a pro yeah. it's a huge <coughs> project. Yeah. Okay. It involves completing a year of what we call our journeys that are, um, they're inspiring, they're educational, and it's teaching them about different types of life skills. Mm -hmm. And then they move into the creating their projects. They have a mentor that works with right. them to help oh, guide them yeah, on the project. But it it's is, really involved. it is a significant, yes. oh, yeah. oh, it's, it's a significant number of so hours. So different now, it really is. We, we have different. girls who have done projects, and actually we have a gold award ceremony this Wednesday night. Oh. We're honoring, we had, our last one was a few months back because of COVID, we didn't have right. the live program. So we actually had a year and a half's worth of girls. We had 90 girls who oh, received nice. their gold award for this year. It's it's a bit of a truncated year because of those who got it earlier. Um, so we have 31 girls who are going to receive their gold award. That's great. Uh, oh, and yeah. they range from the Nassau Suffolk line all okay. the way out uh, all the way to both uh, forks because wow. we cover all of that territory it's very nice. and our girls have done I've read through some of the projects and they are simply remarkable um, but it is a sisterhood that exists after that of women who have earned their gold award that um, that they they really nice. help years each other years, years right. down the road. It is it's something to put on your resume because another woman reading that resume right. who has earned it will see that and know the your type of level. Person yes, you are. exactly, definitely, definitely. exactly. Well, what an environment. Yeah. So now let's talk about your business. Uh, RPC development. Yeah, I still have it. Consulting in firm. Yes. I know I've been to one or two of your events. <laughs> Um, and they're like outrageous. <laughs> um, but what else do you do? You do a lot of marketing or I business consulting? I do a lot of writing, a lot of marketing. Um, I've done, oh, through COVID, I did a lot of um, COVID policies, COVID plans, COVID grants. There was an award for writing the word COVID. I would have gotten it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but at, businesses needed to be out there and let their clients and their prospective clients and customers know how they were operating. what they how they're mm -hmm. operating what they were able to do while business while new york was on pause yes. and then as they were reopening what what to anticipate so that the customers would come back the clients would come back yeah. Yeah, um, right. so helping businesses to be able to pivot and see what their potential looks like be able to take what they learned during covid and incorporate it into what That's they're great. doing so that hopefully they can get back to where they were and then actually get even higher. Yeah, the nice right, thing right. about being part of the Long Island Angels is that some of us are all in the same business. But that doesn't matter no, because there's no. enough business for everybody. Absolutely. Right. And we all help each other. Absolutely. Yeah. And we can work together, network. Really, yeah, we exactly. do. Yeah. You know, I go to her thing, she comes to my thing. Absolutely. And it's it's just wonderful. And wow, it doesn't matter great. if you're in Nassau or Suffolk because no, no. everybody travels now. It's no big yeah, no. deal. There's a lot that, of people who are interconnected in some way. Yeah, it's a yeah. great organization. Yeah, and, and can't and wait for them. They'll probably bring it back next year. This coming year, maybe, or that's next year. Yeah, that's my hope is for some yeah, of these events. Yeah, because it's a wonderful organization and changed my life. Patricia Balestras, you know, she really she, changed yeah, my life. Yes. We call her Bellissima because she's a very <laughs> oh, pretty <you're> woman. Beautiful. <laughs> I saw and her posting this morning. Yeah, <laughs> and she uh, actually sent me a picture when she saw you were on the show uh -huh. of you and her. Really? Yeah, something oh that goodness. you did with her in the past. Yeah, and it's funny because I bumped into her during COVID. You know, everybody's all masked up. Yes. And I'm looking and she's <laughs> looking and I'm, is that you? Yes, it is. And we and, caught uh, up. Yeah, and she does the bucket her. list tours. Oh, yes. oh that's and the wow. woman you were Yeah, we, went, yeah. we yes. go on her bus and you do nothing except drink, eat, <laughs> oh, that's and fun. get carded <laughs> everywhere. You make, <laughs> what you do is you make memories. Yeah, that's, that's right. What, that's what her tours do. And we have a ball. We have a ball. I went on three and forget about it. With a cane and a, and a walker. That's right. okay. <laughs> because they're so nice. It's like you just have a great time. Is it just in Manhattan or Long Island? Oh, they go to Jersey. They go everywhere. Yeah, and then the Angel Program is uh, something that Rhonda Kolch has has um, 
created, and she's she's amazing. a remarkable woman, and I'm grateful to her Me because too. coming that day, you know, you kind of think if you if you're operating in the Long Island marketplace that oh, you know, I know everybody, no. and then you go to an event like that and you see a whole bunch of people you know, and a whole bunch of people that you don't, and you get to meet someone, and it's so and nice, and you, wow, make, and you make a whole new relationship. And Greg wow. loves them all now. <laughs> Greg was putting <laughs> by what do you, what do you want to say how, by uh, I don't even know, not accident, but you know, Greg he came once and that's it. They that's it. He send him food. Oh, wow. <laughs> they cook him meals. Whatever. Whenever I go, if he's not invited, they send him food, oh, and he loves wonderful. it. So there you go. it's that's amazing, right. you know, how many great people there are. And there are. With the COVID, I think everyone's just that wasn't amazing. Is amazing now. I mean, you're always going to have yeah, your your rats. You know, Pe people true. stayed in touch. People found a way to c maintain the human connection that we we especially that we normally Island, do because right. we're we're not like another bedroom community because no. we live and play and work in the same space. So people needed that um, because right. there is a a deeper level of connection than I think a lot of communities actually have. So you know coming on with a coffee and just catching up with someone yeah, right you know exactly. we, we said well let's we, we need a half an hour to talk about business let's book an hour yeah because this way you can catch up and just know where someone is that you would normally have done at you know the sweet hollow diner or over breakfast right. or, or yeah. things like that and every so every month is something like now june 27th is what something out there and we're in god land oh, through the angel organization yeah oh angel. that's One right that's right yes yes oh, yes okay. yes so we're yes. all invited but we got to drive oh. to exit 70 then and that's okay. a lot closer for me than it yeah, is for you. Yeah, I know. You. So, <laughs> uh, you know, I keep telling them all, I'm in Minnesota. But it's worth it, right? It's yeah, worth I it. Do, yeah, I do go. Yeah, yeah well, on the days when we have to drive basically to the Queen's line I'm, and I'm dying in traffic, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm thinking I'm in Suffolk. So yes. it's the same thing. Yep. So yeah. how do people reach you if people want to become a Girl Scout? If you want to come, yeah, if you want to get involved with Girl Scouts uh, or even just to learn more information about us, um, you can check us out. We have, we're on all the social media platforms. So we're on uh, Facebook, Instagram. LinkedIn, Twitter, um, and we post all different opportunities of things that we're doing, activities for the girls, for the adults, information. Uh, and then, of course, we have our website, which is at G, like girl, it's girl Scout Suffolk Girl County, gssc.us. And I invite you to take a look, see what we're about. And um, if you were a Girl Scout, be a Girl Scout again, because you're you, actually, you never stop being I've one. I've never been one. <laughs> and if you My haven't been was, one, come be one. But it's, it's a wonderful <laughs> experience. Still will kill me if I get, <laughs> if I get her involved in anything else. Her husband will probably tie me up. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, no, I'm not even going to go You're going there. into a I totally like, different space we now. Well, we usually do that on this show. There you oh, go. No. Okay. okay. Oh, but you okay. know. But, but, uh, but you know. Th thank you so much uh, to you oh and, and to Greg for having me here mm -hmm. and being able to talk about the wonderful programs over at Girl Scouts. Um, we, have, we have an amazing board. We have amazing local leaders. Um, and it allows us to bring these kinds of programs to thousands of girls all throughout Suffolk County. So thank you for having Very me. You're welcome. And, you know, if, you, if you're going to start having group things where the girls are coming and mm -hmm. you need a speaker, I'd love to come. Absolutely. And donate a few books to the girls to read about how to become strong and all that absolutely yeah. Yeah, you will hear from me on yeah that, so me. So we'd be happy to i don't do turn it. those offers down we'd so. be happy to do it and <laughs> finally we have our miss marie miss marie yes. miss marie yeah. freeman look yes. at this magazine all right yeah. beautiful we oh are with some powerful woman today yes. this is called uh, the book that is true the long is. island bride and groom yes we've been around over 30 years on Long Island, the wedding I'm industry. so glad I'm going to give it to my niece. She's getting married in a week, you know, three weeks. Well, nice, two nice. weeks. Yeah, well, we've been doing whatever. it a long time, my husband and I and our son. Look at it. We brought him I aboard. Love this magazine. And, um, we've seen many changes. And uh, the one that really was um, devastating for the wedding industry was COVID. Yes. I mean, a lot of people in the wedding industry suffered really bad. And so... The, on the positive note, everything's looking good. Right. They're in the right direction. They're open. Uh, you know, they can have large events. And the brides and grooms are ready to party. They are. <laughs> they are ready to party. They are. They're having a lot of fun. They're probably, um, you know, after parties are becoming really popular now because yeah, everybody's out and they're excited. They could see people. They're just thrilled to have well, what did you say before? One of you before said that this was going to, that the, the next 
period of time that they're calling it the, the, new, the new Roaring Twenties. Yeah. The new Roaring Twenties. Yes, I like that. because everybody, you know, what happened after, you know, mm -hmm. and th they're like let loose, you know. Everybody's yeah. there dancing well, nonstop. That's what happened. My daughter's and, wedding, yeah. they picked up the tables and nobody, <laughs> everybody was still dancing. As long as they weren't dancing on the tables. And then <laughs> the coats were thrown in the back room oh and they weren't goodness. leaving. And that's exactly what happened. And then the next day there was a party, like you said. I was yeah. shocked. So, I yeah, I would just say um, I'm not sure the exact date when the restrictions were lifted, um, but that was uh, a great news for everybody, you know, from the caterers all the way down to, you know, florists, photographers, makeup artists, you know, the industry. I mean, before that, there were weddings that were going on, but they were small micro yeah. weddings. Mm -hmm. um, but now it's totally brides are relieved. So everybody's happy. Are now. you seeing people coming on to plan, people who did the micro wedding and then figured, well, we'll do the big? Well, most of them, uh, most of the brides or couples that did have the micro wedding or they got married without um, a party, they already booked, uh, rescheduled their large wedding for later on oh, in the year. Oh, nice. So, nice. You know, they wanted to move on with their life, you know, have buy a house, whatever they wanted yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. But they planned um, or rescheduled their wedding for this year or 22. Well, that's good for the people that, you know, they didn't lose money. Absolutely. With the well, it's it's n it's money that they they're going to eventually get. Eventually. Right. They're not, they're not getting, getting, getting new money now. Right. It's money that so so they're they in kind of lost it's called year, backlog. I guess it's yeah. money that they, you know. But people don't realize, I think until you look through a book like this, or you're this in the industry, is right. you don't realize how many different vendors are, are involved. Yeah. And, so, yeah. and yeah. all That's of right that. It, it, yeah. Yeah. So they were all, all it impacted by. Yeah. Not yeah. only that, when I worked in media for a magazine, this book, we called it, it was like this. We called it the big book. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it only came out once a year this size. Well, ours comes out once a year. Yeah, but... But I'm just saying, right, we only exactly. did it once. You know, you, you do it. I mean, we were affected you as well it, yeah. from the um, COVID. And that's a we lot of work. We were not able to print a 2021 book. Oh. Right. Because we felt as a, a company and an organization, knowing um, what our vendors were going through in the industry, it, we felt that it wasn't, you know, for us to come out with a new magazine and, and ask for advertising revenue wasn't fair. Right. Well, you, you, you had a heart, you know. I guess. A big heart. <laughs> big heart. <laughs> but, that, but that speaks to relationships like we were talking Absolutely. about yeah. before. In, ev in, ev in every industry, mm -hmm. they must, must always, yeah. you know, right. cultivate so those relationships. You have to and you have to honor, honor the ones. them. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So and we have yeah. the magazine, a website, so all on social media. Right now, we're offering um, anybody that wants to reach the bridal market digital only on our website. We've never done that before. It's uh -huh. only been for advertisers in our magazine. So uh, right now, anybody that ha has always wanted to be in our magazine but maybe could not afford it, we're offering uh, That's digital great. only. So you know. if they want to do that, how do they boost you? Where do they go? Um, they would contact us. Uh, um, they can contact our office at 516-333-9333, extension 201, or send us an email at info at libridinggroom.com. So now this lady isn't busy enough. Oh, so I know. So now her yeah. and her sister-in-law. Yeah. We started a, um, a business because during COVID, you know, things were slow and we were thinking about things to do. And so we have a business called Organizing and Minimizing. So we're like, uh, we go into homes or offices and we help people organize their stuff or, or help them pack if they're re if they're downsizing we'll help them pack we recently did something where a woman just renovated her kitchen but due to um, some type of surgery that she had she wasn't able to lift things so we went in and we put everything back in her kitchen to make it functional and organized everything for her and helped get rid of some items as well but we do that and in addition to that if anybody wants to sell items we do that as well some people you know, they have things that they want to sell. Sell items. Sell Susan, items. Susan, our, one of our volunteers here. She's the lady that sells the items. Yes, so we sell items, yes. So, so we go in and measure, and um, we take photos, and we market it and help sell it. You know, well, like, how, like, like furniture. So large-scale items. Yeah. Well, what about nice. Barbie dolls? Could you do yes. that? 
we could do that. You know, we definitely, we would put it on there, you know, and we work with the client uh, on the price point, Got it. you know, because we don't just go, oh, you know, we, we decide what the market value is and discuss it with the person if that's what they agree to, and then we post it on there. And depending on how long it's been on the market, we determine if it needs to be lowered. It's almost, you know, like the same as, like, if you were selling a house, you know, you have to, how long it's on the market. But that's like a big tool for people that can't be bothered, like when some I sell my house. Some people don't want it, yeah. I Even some do restaurants, it. you know, they want to get rid of stuff, but they don't, you know, they're busy running their restaurant. They don't want to sell their items, you know, so we go in and do that. And but then, I understand, just three days ago, I found it, Marie and Helen's Flight Plan to Life. Now you have a podcast. Oh, yes. One of my best friends. We've been friends for over 25 years, and we decided we've always wanted to do a podcast about our life and because we've always been through a lot of ups and downs, and we felt that that would be something that we could share with other people and to open up a conversation about um, just um, life in general and experiences. Yeah, so... You know, I know, yeah. uh, I know her because I, yes. I actually Helen. worked with her a yes. few volunteering things we yes. did. Yes, so and we have our third in, episode. Yeah, we Marie did. was involved in a lot of the Breakfast Club events. Yes. Ah. She was a volunteer. Yes, she's yes. very organized. But um, so, how's it going? I did, I yes. did listen to it. I it's found it great. last night. We love Helen it. Helen and Marie's flight plan yes. to life. It's about our positivity. Uh, that and also opening up a conversation that sometimes, you know. It's like two friends having a conversation, and you're part of the conversation, and we want you to feel like you're um, part of what we're discussing. So, you know, so our last podcast was about gratitude. So we talk about what gratitude meant to us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, then I got people calling me saying, you know, it really made me think about what's really important in my life, you know. So we started that conversation. So, you know... We don't know where it's going to take us, but even if it's just um, we can help someone uh, Get to realize the right. what their destination. It's like a metaphor on flight planning, it's like rerouting di direct so flights. Part of some the same yeah, cycle right. What's what your we're destination? A lot of people, especially during this past year, I think they can benefit from something like that because yes. they were very lost. Yes. yes. They Definitely. lost employment. They lost family members. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you regroup after all that? I think well, that would be so beneficial. Yeah, I think there's actually a term now. I think it's called languishing. It's like a term. Like that they, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a term. Just hanging. In between, yeah, you're, you're just in, like, in between and you're in a you're limbo. limbo. I have but a everybody. funny way of saying it. What's that? In between a shit and a fart. <laughs> oh, I guess. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you could either hold it in or let it go. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. There you go. There you go. Um, but it's... What you, uh, what people are afraid to let go. Yeah, yes. it's what well, yes. we talk Hold about on. that too yeah. yes, in one of our true. episodes. About so, so Susan, who's our behind the scenes volunteer, is she's the lady that brought me my coffee. Uh, oh, I was Susan. late today. We today is chocolate ice cream day, national oh my God. day. Is it really? <laughs> yes, it is. So oh guess what she God. brought us. Oh. Oh we my goodness! We're going to have an ice cream <laughs> oh cone. Oh thank my you, God! Thank you, Susan. If thank Helen's you. Listening, you. If Helen's listening, and you'll funny. understand if you listen to one of the podcasts, I was dreaming about ice cream, and I just so you don't make and, a mess. And I <laughs> there you go. We, thank we you. Talk myself out of it, and then what do I get? Ice cream. And they're so <laughs> tiny, you can have two. Here you go, my dear. Oh my God! Now you can have two. Here I am. And I'm if Greg that. was here, he would have. He would have already. One and it's not Greg would have confiscated <laughs> this already. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take a nap. Thank you so much. And, and um, we're going to eat the ice cream. This is fun. Oh, my goodness. Yes, thank you. So oh today is National, National Chocolate Ice Cream Day. So oh. thank you guys Talk for coming. Oh, thank you. Thank and you. we have no champagne, but we have ice cream. So that's you it. Want better. So what? <laughs> this is what you usually get on the show when you first come on, which is a loaf of bread. It's a mini loaf of bread <laughs> because you have to break bread with your family. I because say bread <laughs> is life. Yeah. That's yes. bread is life. Bread is life. All right. Thank you. Yeah. And then so um, today, because it is National Chocolate Day, you also oh, get a brownie <laughs> to oh take my home. <laughs> See, so Greg oh. is palpitating right now watching the oh show because oh. he's not getting any of this today. Oh, thank you. You got I one for you? There you go. You get morning gifts. Yes. And of course, you're all going to the spa. 
because oh. we have a new program. Let me put this it's in here. It's called... What? It's called Girls Night Out. It's for brides. It's for women. It's for men. It's for couples. Oh. And you go to uh, the spa. You get a free salt cake treatment. You can get a beautiful massage for only $30 because of us. Other people pay 130 Oh, and wow. this is the whole program. And oh then goodness. you come to, you go to dinner, and then you go to come here with the girls when you have a big thing, and you party. So it's called Girls Night Out. It's spa, dinner, oh my and goodness. G's Club Night Out. So Not if you're interested in that, anybody, you contact me. Um, and we're doing it through Tranquility because he's a sponsor of the show. But you three get to go, A, for a free soul cave and for a thirty dollar massage, which would cost you a hundred. Oh my goodness! Else. Wow, thank, thank you. So, so these much. are you guys are getting all the freebies today. Oh, all these goodies! You. Oh and, my goodness! Uh, we believe you, in it, and thank you know you. anything you could do to promote us, me, Greg, the show. Thank you. Absolutely. And um, you know, have a good time thank on you. us because oh, that's wow. what life's oh, about. Thank you. You know, my but getting goodness. back to. Um, Wonderful. The best friend thing. You, I, I'm actually going to apply for this. You could too. Anybody can. Best friend. Oh, we're telling on that new thing where you get all these emails about upcoming gigs. You know that they have these emails that we get. Oh. For the when you go want to do an audition, uh -huh. they're looking for uh, two women to audition for a little gig about best friends. And oh my God, we would be your perfect. best friends. Oh, Did you see it? Yes, I, I, Whoa, I saw, that, that. saw that. I want to do it. I saw that breakdown. I did. But and see, I my best friend. Delete, because I'm like, I don't really have anybody. I do. I can, you know? But my best friend won't go on. I know it. I'd have to oh. do it alone. Because well, she's very shy. I don't know if you can do it alone. Well, I know. But I'm going to call them anyway. Because that's what I will call them anyway. Yeah. Submit. Submit. I'll be your best friend. <laughs> you need to come on, guys. I'll be your best friend. you got to eat it on the show. Okay. You, you have okay. to tell me. What, so I I'll can send submit it to you. that. I just so found I it. saw that. I, 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 I saw it last night. Yeah, oh, yeah. my God. That's it's meant to be. a great thing. I think I know. Where is it from? I think it might have been my manager who put that out Get there. Get out. No. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Where based they do? I don't remember. All I know is that it's a, it's if you really oh, truly have so. a best friend, I do. It's a great thing to Wait do. Wait a second. I have a lot of best I'm friends. Gonna, can I look it up now? Yeah. I'm gonna look it up now. I'm gonna let you know. Oh my Susan, God. Susan, mm -mm. aren't you having an ice cream? I'm gonna Here, look it up and give now. one to uh, on. Cliff because he's sitting so quietly there. He's shaking his head <laughs> no. He's like, I don't want an ice cream, Valentina. <laughs> That's what he's Let's doing right now. Not right, right now. He's busy. He's working. So anyway, uh, Susan, you have one, and have Jenny have one. Gre uh, oh, they're very good. And Greg, eat your heart out. I'm finally you having not my having ice cream. The, you're not having the ice cream, and you're not having the brownies, Greg. Today, mm. sorry. It's good. <laughs> yeah, mm. it's not, aren't they cute? They buy blue bonnet. I'm gonna call them and tell them to send them to the they're show. They're adorable. And then we they can have so them all the time. <laughs> so um, yeah, so no, yeah, it wasn't. But I did mm. see it. Okay. It came. It came. It's one of my. Well, for me, like I said, I'm on so many different platforms. It came through. It was probably one of the things from casting. My first was there something you have to be an a actress or something? No, they, they want it's you don't always a lot of these things you don't always have to be an actor. They a lot of them people. they want real people. Ooh, I would they I want, want to real do that. people. Real my people. first book is about me and my best friend, so I think I have a shot. There you go. But hey, I'm Valentina. You just did an audio book. I have to do it. Did you not? Yeah. No. Oh, yes. I, did I thought voice, you did. Though, you did the VO for, yes. for a book? She did the VO for a book. How fantastic. Oh, I right. just did an audio book. I just did two voiceovers, and the second one is when you get into the Soul Cave, mm -hmm. you'll be hearing my voice. There you go. Oh, you go. Yay. Fantastic. See, good and for you. And my daughter cracked up when I was going to do it. She said, Good for you. Ma, you're going to calm people down? I'm like, Yes. <laughs> you do have a soothing voice. But I did. I changed my voice. You sit in this room with this microphone. Yes. You're in a booth. And it was great. I did it at Red Penguin, who is my leader of writing books. And uh, Stephanie's the head penguin, and that's where I did it. There so now go. I have another there you go. piece to add to my wow. career. Is your just, book um, available on audio? Yeah. Not on no, audio no. yet. Okay. Not that one. Because uh, that's yeah. fantastic. Hint, my kids hint, gave hint. me a year yes, ago for Mother's Day. I know. I got a subscription. I <laughs> to audiobooks because I'm oh. on I'm on the computer so much that at night to read my eyes are tired. I so I s I love Audible. I listen to everything that way now. Well, you have to you listen to my podcast. Does it make you, you yeah, Does you it make you fall asleep? Not at all. I listen in the morning while I'm 
while I'm doing things around the house before I sit down to work. A lot of people like it now because they can listen Same. and not watch. They can mm -hmm. listen by... Can I get a shame, I another car. shameless plug-in? Yeah, of right. Course. Okay, can. since we're talking about audiobooks, one of the <laughs> things that I did complete for um, a good friend of mine another from Quail Bell Productions, again, uh, Christine Sloan Stoddard is the author, and I VO'd her, her audiobook, Naomi and the Reckoning, and... If you go to my website. It's right there. You can I have to download your website it. down. Naomi and the Reckoning. It's a good. It's a very good book. I mean, we <laughs> have wow. the most yeah. successful yeah. woman here today. Really, the three of you. Thank you. I'm so proud Thank to know you. all of you. I really am. And I, I think we had a great show today. I, I mean, we had we a great have show too. very this high was, yeah. goals and expectations of where we want our life to go. Definitely. I think at the point that you let anything get boring. Then you're in trouble. And you're in, in trouble. trouble. And if you do get bored, get up, get dressed, show up. Don't yeah. give up. Go somewhere else. Meet somebody brand new. And you'll get inspired. And then write yes. a book and call me. Because when you write a book, your life goes from here to here. Yes. And, and that really, you know, my book changed my life. That's how I met Jerry. Uh, yep. See that? And Jerry comes here now and... We go to his concert. Well, you meet yes, a lot of people. Kings. <laughs> you meet a lot of people just by going up well, and talking. Well, going to, to the that. diner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> but no, she's, it's true. I, a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> we were here for Jerry's uh, performance with the Mutant Kings. Because right. Jerry Freddy doesn't only make films, he also has his own band. Um, and they're excellent. And Valentina was here. She had a whole long group of people. And I sat right up and I'm like, hey, what are you doing here? So, yeah, she, this lady... Is like the Pied Piper of people. <laughs> she just like brings people together. I like that. Well, you yeah. are. She's can add that to She your, is. Uh, Pied Piper of people. Oh, look. A lot of uh, pa 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 Well, the funny <laughs> thing is, since I'm with Jerry, some people think I'm involved in movies. And I'm not, but I am now. Because I know the people. Yeah, you know what I mean? So yeah. now we're going to the red carpet of Familiar 2. And maybe you'll be in a movie one day. Maybe. I have already told them that. <laughs> I want to be the Italian mama. Oh, I'm going to do anything. That That's what I want. I want to be the there Italian mama. There you but go. But anyway, we're going to Russo's on the Bay. That's if anybody your, that's wants. That's your archetype. There you go. Anyone <laughs> wants to go, you just call Russo's on the Bay. It's $150 a ticket. But it's going to be a party like oh, nowhere else. Unbelievable they food. Do. And what is this for? La Familia 2, the red carpet event. Oh, okay. And for it's a movie. And it's over at Russo's. When is it going to be? Uh, June 19th. Mm. And the it's movie is at Merrick Theater um, on June 19th, too. 4.30, and then after the movie is the big party. Got it. And that happened from a referral through somebody that thought I was in the movie business, and I wasn't. So. Yep. And then they came here, and th they did a show, and then basically we've been friends since. And they're right in Lindbrook. The office is right in Lindbrook in a little kitchen where they do a lot of the shows. It's very strange. Oh, you never up. know who your neighbors are. No. Oh, you yeah, don't. That's for sure. You don't. So that's why, you know, the show is important. The club is important. Do you know someone that needs something, needs a job, needs something done? We do the impossible at the Breakfast Club. At the show, we promote the impossible. So it's two different entities, the show, the club, and the show. G's is a club. That's Greg's baby. You want to have a party, you want to have something here, you want to have an event. We do book launches here. Right. It's so different, and there's plenty of parking. When do you do your breakfast club meetings? No, it's this Saturday, oh, 9 o'clock. Okay. And tomorrow, we have our uh, writer's club meeting, which is you want to write a book, you come, you have dinner, you start writing. Nine months later, you got a book. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Like you, you're writing baby. yours though, right? You I have, have a publisher, have right? No, I don't have a publisher. Oh. I have mine sketched out, but with girl, uh, since I stepped into the Girl Scout role, I actually kind of put it on the back okay. burner. Well, just when you're ready, fun, but I have we'll to get back you. to it. I would love that. Yeah, Red Penguin. I mean, she is terrific. Look what she's done for me. I mean, and and now our book got <laughs> my book got an award for our trailer. We do trailers too now. It's an excellent book. The trailers yeah, for the book, or the yeah, that's what we. Oh. I got an award for the trailer. Oh, okay. And I thought it was the show else. got okay. two awards for the show from the tellies. We got a telly See award. That? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I saw I that. I saw that. That was yeah, fantastic. That was good for you. Really we're excited. We haven't really gone out to celebrate yet because we haven't had time. But it's been pretty nice. So I showed that to my daughter. I said, so am I a movie star now? <laughs> she said, no. No. Not yet? <laughs> she said, no. When will you be? She, when you save money. 
In other oh, words, okay. my daughter says, you spend what you earn, you spend, which is true. I do that. You, you have, have to spend to, to make. make. Right. And I'm so glad you said that. Because so many people, you know, they're you like, don't, you, know, you have to invest. It's your business. You, you to need invest to invest in, in, your in, in your business. You absolutely You don't, you know, and, and I try and, and make that point with, again, new up-and-coming younger mm -hmm. actors or people who are just interested. They think it's just like, oh, uh, it's just going to happen. I'm going to get an agent. I'm like, good luck with that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they want to get paid. No, 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 no. Right, yeah. What's the bad with that? <laughs> I... Again, it comes down to relationships. You can't just walk in and think, oh, I'm going to get an agent. I'm going to call up and, can you represent me? No. They're not. <laughs> it's no. not like that, no, huh? It does not work that way. You have to earn that. I followed, <laughs> I literally followed my agent. All around over the place? Around for a year. Yes. Wow. I am now repped by BMG Global. He's my agent, and I have the Talent Express as my management, and I did the same thing. I submitted to them the materials and that I had in a nice email, introducing myself and saying, this is what I have. Take a look, see. If you don't have somebody on your roster, because they have like rosters, you, right. like me, mm -hmm. and you feel that I would be a good fit for your roster, even as a freelance, let's Let have know. a meeting. Right. And it happened that way with Talent Express. They took me on as a freelance. They took me to on as a... To get your foot in the door. They took me on as a freelance for a year. Oh, a wow. year. Wow. Okay. I, so then you within jobs, that year... No. No, 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 no. Um, within that... A freelance means that I'm not signed. That's what oh, it means. Oh, okay. It means you're you not signed. You do get paid, but yes. you're not signed, right? Um, okay. Yeah. You, if you book something, you get paid. They get their commission. Um, and then the sign is, I, you, I, you literally have to earn your stripes, just like a Girl Scout has to earn her, you have to earn like your stripes. Like your badge, right. Mm -hmm. I had to, um, I had to prove myself. I had to get work. I got work. I got, you know, I, I started doing more short films. I started doing more theater. I started promoting myself. I started getting my materials together. My resume, you know, all of, all of the the smaller credits dropped off and all the you larger credits. Keep I didn't advising, get signed, right? exactly, until I had to prove myself to them that I am a marketable person. Right. Wow. You need and to that takes yourself. money. You did, well, no, well, well but you, you have to spend. Yeah. Well, but I did freelancing, but freelancing just means I'm not on their roster. Now, once I showed that I, I can make money for you, I am marketable, people are booking me, they took me on and said, I, okay, now I'd like to offer you a contract didn't happen now that happened with my manager with my agent is a different story again it's all about relationships and you have to be that careful when you sign a you contract can, you <laughs> cannot well yes with anything um, now I have as a business person I think you all know you need to have a, a solid team working with you and, and for you and I had now I had a manager but now a manager takes care of manages your career tells you, you know, you, your headshots are old or you need yeah. to update this and I think you would be better off doing this and maybe you know that they They're guiding you. you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The other half of that pa that package or that, that whole piece, piece is is the agent, which will get you in those rooms that your manager doesn't Could have access to. Right. 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 The management pushes you too, but there are t agents have better connections, and okay. again, they, they push you. Well. So having that full team working for you and having that communication and, and the full circle, so it's me. <coughs> My manager and my agent now, and it works beautifully because it's affording me more work. Um, it's it's allowing me to, it's opening more doors for me in, in other ways. So it, it helps, but it doesn't happen with the snap of a oh, finger or no. a phone no, call. No, no. It does not happen. You, you work need your to, ass off you in need English. to earn it. Well, because the manager and the, the agent work. have businesses, so exactly. they need to know they're going to make money. By well, that, not only that, you know, they, it's their reputation that's on the line with, with casting directors. They want to know that who they're sending, you know, they're sending not me they want to know that, yes. you know, I can, you and you're not it. standing there, you know, you know, you know what. Exactly. So you have, again, you have to prove yourself. <laughs> so it took me another year of, of updating and, you know, communicating with this one particular agent. And um, I... He moved, it's funny, he moved down to Florida, and I'm in Florida also, you know, for a few months out of the year in the winter, and it's not always about business. It's about just being 
personable with right. people. Yeah, being in you, you, can't just, right. you can't just make it all about business. You have to be a person too, because these people have lives. Exactly. Yeah, they they have life. Right. They, are, they, they can't when be bothered. they're not casting people, they, they've got kids and they've got personality. Right, they've got, <laughs> you know, roofs that are leaking and all that other kind of stuff. They're people. So, you know, you, with my particular instance, my agent happened to have just got a new house in Florida with his wife. It was great. And I was so happy about that because he, he's like within an hour or two hours of me down there. And I said, you know, I'm like, you're down in Florida. I said, I know a great place that has great New York, New York deli, you know, and, and the Brooklyn bakery. I said, I can meet you halfway. Why don't we have lunch together? Which you was know, a great stuff thing. Like that. Right. Exactly. Well, that's what life's about. Let exactly. You know. So, you know, it, it, he reached, you know, he, he reached out to me, um, couple of weeks, a month, maybe a month later, and then he said to me, you know, let's let's have a FaceTime um, meeting. Mm -hmm. And that's how it worked. But it took a it while. It took a lot. It, it just doesn't He happen. had to get to know me. Absolutely. I needed to get to it's, it's a matter of trust. Definitely. You have Definitely. to know who you're. Thing. But yeah. think about your friendships and you things like that. You're not right. best friends today. Yeah. You met someone you met an hour ago. No. no. You build that no. over time. Well, that's the whole and thing. And it's the same thing with your business relationships. Absolutely. You build your business one Absolutely. relationship at that's a time. That's what the bread's about. Exactly. Break the bread. bread. Break the bread. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, to anyone in any business, you need to be able to cultivate those relationships absolutely day by day and start in baby steps because it just, you can't jump in with two feet because then you scare people away. No, no. But I feel like yeah. at this yeah. table right here, we've been cultivating you for about well, 15 years. Well, I mean, years. most of the advertisers in here are have become really good friends. Right. I mean, we've known some of them for over 20 and years. And I know you since so. somebody got married and I reached out to you. Yeah. Many, many, well, exactly. and you thought you were, you came to my first book launch. Yes, that was And you, I know story. three years through Jerry. Yeah. Her last name. Uh, we were, and now we we're, were like great Nyla. friends. We yeah. were in Nyla together, and, and you saw me. I was sitting at the table because everybody was in on the screening, and I was there taking tickets and collecting money, and I had no idea. So I was like, there was a little lull in the lobby at the Seaford Cinema, and I'm like, hi, how are you? My <laughs> name is Donna. I'm like, <laughs> what movie do you do? And she goes, oh, I don't do a movie. I'm here with my, you know, for my book, and, and and I know Jerry Fred. I said, oh, okay. And we so became, became best friends. Right. And, and you, go. the Angels. That's the right. Angels is the best oh, place in the world. Met. We yes. met at the Angels, oh, and then oh, my daughter. And then her daughter was on the uh, show, and, and yeah, she, she came, came to the book launch. Mm -hmm. and she makes cookies like you can't believe, and oh. Greg loves her daughter. Because <laughs> she makes delicious well, cookies. Well, because she came on the show, and she came with a platter. Yes. <laughs> So, you know, everything happens for a reason. And on I that agree. note, we're going to have to end. I want to thank oh, absolutely. I want to thank Tranquility Spa. Spa. That's where you guys are going. Oh, thank, thank you. you. For 700 thank Franklin absolutely. Avenue. You have to make an appointment. I Tell them absolutely. that the show sent you. Absolutely. And you will get a free salt cave. Excellent. Laura Pura Jewelers. Teddy and Christina. 1033 Hempstead Turnpike. Love the man. Oh, love I the jewelry. Teddy. Well, there you go. Tell there them you go. saw right on the show. <laughs> And he makes great things. All, everything I have on is from Teddy, this beautiful pen. I bought a watch from him. Yeah. Yes. I know Teddy. He's been there for My niece forever. got her engagement ring there, yep. and my sister's nice. going to get her wedding ring fixed there. There you go. Jack said, you would prints. Do you need taxes? you need stuff with your bookkeeping? 978 Hempstead Turnpike. And then last but not least, the new do, NV Salon, two, 362 Dogwood Avenue, Franklin, Franklin Square. Square. Yeah. Yes. She's a doll. Her name is Bethany. She does wild things with your hair. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me this stuff called shampoo, dry shampoo. Uh -huh. You don't have to wash your hair for four days, and it looks better. It really does. It works great. And she also does nails. That's They're great. gonna have Botox there. Oh. Okay. And you can reach her at two four three nine six <laughs> nine five. It's so clean and very posh. Oh, and nice. the prices of Nassau not the big places where you pay triple the price. So we try That's to make to everything hear. manageable with our vendors yeah. so people can afford to go. Absolutely. Because even if you're out of work or you're in the pandemic, you have to have a price that's yeah. amenable and manageable. Mm -hmm. And that's what we believe in. So exactly. you guys, it's been a great show. Thank you for having Thank you for having us. Did you have fun? And did you yes, like the ice cream? Yes, yeah. Oh, the ice cream was very good. good. Thank you. And Greg, you missed out on ice cream. Hi, Greg. And Greg. Hey, Greg. And, Greg. <laughs> and there is time. a few in the freezer for you when you come back. But we missed you a lot. And uh, when you leave, you got to share the show because Greg usually does all that. I, I yeah, I'm going to. All right. right and right I there. noticed <laughs> none of you have your phones on, which is a no no. Oh. Well, so no, I had it on, but I didn't know. I had it on. Shuts off. That's I, all right. Yeah, it shuts You'll off. do I, it later. I didn't want it to distract. So I well, Greg, you know, there. when he's here, I know. Just, I, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. amazing. 
and brides. Come on now. Yes, Look at well this. And there are going to be some bridal shows, I think, And I'm going to have a table at one. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. If on our Fantastic. website, there's a shows and events, and I think there might be some posted. And I have a Fantastic. brand new vendor who oh. made this board for my niece's bridal shower. Gorgeous. I'm sending you the pictures. Okay. No one's ever made a board like this. Oh, Unbelievable unique. roses. Very different. So I, I wanted it for the show, but she didn't get it to oh. me. It's fine. Aww. And we were at... Uh, a great restaurant, Uncle Bacala's, who will be on our show. Oh, okay. oh they are. Yes, like Peter's coming on the show. Good, good, good. And good, good. Thursday, we have an inventor coming. Oh, interesting. Nice. And we have uh, Mr. Scotty, Rich Scotty, who played for Paul Anka. He's oh. coming. And he's also uh, a person that imitates all the movie stars. That's right. So oh. Thursday's oh, show is going to be great. Is it like a comedian? It's sort of half and half. Oh, yeah. wow. Can you get... Um, Last plug yeah. in for Nyla, filmfreeway.com. Yes, filmfreeway.com. <laughs> slash Nyla. Slash Nyla. And tonight we have the, our first comedy little event, right? What time is that, Where guys? Is that? Seven o'clock here tonight, free. Oh, wow. Free. Um, what, what comedians? What? Uh, well, the Wildflowers are putting it on. So ah. it's a big shop. They did it. Great gave are, them the, the red light. Wild. They have their own show, the Wildflowers. Two okay. great ladies. And tonight we'll be back at 7 o'clock, and Yay. it's free to come. Great. You buy a drink, you buy a snack. There we go. There you go. But it's going to be free. all funny. You're going to laugh your <laughs> ass off tonight. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah, so if you have nothing to do tonight, guys, come to G's, 157 Hempstead Avenue. And that is a wrap. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.